to Melo from what is a, a humid um, East London. We outside the Springbok Team Hotel, the Garden Court, um, and we are, we are with the acting mayor of um, Buffalo City Municipality, Yomelela Kali. But just before that, you know, we've got the school kids who have been out here, camped outside here, singing, you know, for their heroes, uh, the Springboks. And this excitement has been going on since the team are landed here at King Palo Airport last night. You know, they were out in their numbers. People came from as early as 2 p.m. In, in, the, in the afternoon just to await the heroes as they flew out of Durban. Um, you know, but you know, the, the, the interesting thing, you know, Dumelo, is that you look at the, at the makeup of the Springbok squad. A lot of the players, a lot of the management actually come from the Eastern Cape. Uh, some of them coming, uh, come from stone throw away from East London itself. The likes of Makazor Mapimbu comes from Etuetu, Echalonga, a village just outside of East London. You've got a Lukanyo Arm who comes from Ekonga, or formerly King Williamstown. You know, you've got your Jaden Hendrixes, they also come from Ekonga. Uh, then you, you, you speak about Usia Kolis, Siamtana Kolis, who had um, a family commitment uh, yesterday. Um, Saru has promised us that he will be in East London um, on, on this last leg of this uh, tour. Um, and then you look at a guy like Nzwandi Lestik, the assistant coach. Uh, he's also from Ekabeha. You look at, you know, Rasi Rasmus, the director of rugby, who's not um, been on, on, on this tour itself. But, um, uh, uh, Tumila, not, not to, 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 to be too long-winded, let me just bring in the, the acting uh, mayor of uh, the Buffalo City Municipality, Yomela Chali. Um, it must be a wonderful, wonderful occasion to have the four-time world champions uh, in, in, your, in your municipality. Um, good morning um, to yourself and the viewers. Uh, indeed, it is quite a historic moment, um, not only for the country, but um, part of the city. Um, as that, you would have an appreciation that we've got three um, Springbok players um, that are playing in the squad. So everyone is thrilled, everyone is excited. And you can see the vibes across the city since yesterday. Um, we are proud of our patrons, as you have alluded. Uh, those are our heroes. They've shown so much dedication and discipline, and, and this is um, just overwhelming for everyone. You, you got the likes of Lindsay Way, who's a technical analyst. Mm. You know, um, he was there in 2019. Yeah. Um, a, a young man who, kept, who comes out of Salborn College here. Yeah. You know, how important is it, you know, to have faces like your Lindsay Weyer, you know, who, who's, who's a white uh, citizen yeah. of three, and then you also have Unandu Mazole Mapimbi from Jezabe Chalonga, and then you've got Olu Kanyo Am or Jaden Hendricks. You know, it's a reflection of, of, of the city and of South Africa. Yeah. How important is it to have that diversity but showing unity? Look, um, for the longest time, um, the government of the day, um, which is the ANC-led, um, has been... Um, a pioneer of the Rainbow Nation, um, and it, now it's a true reflection. And the character and the outlook of what we're seeing is really um, quite um, quite amazing. Um, from where from where I'm sitting, and, and from the point of view of the city, um, we are quite happy with these reflections. Um, they have an, an appreciation of our history. Um, they are equally telling of the future, um, where we're going as a country. Um, the Springboks have brought us um, um, a united country, um, and the, the city has, 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 has equally uh, appreciated that. Um, from from the, the, the point of view of the city, uh, we're quite proud of the products that we keep on producing. You know, across the country, uh, Eastern Cape has often been uh, undermined, um, but now it's a, it's a reaffirmation that we are indeed the home of legends and, 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 and a rich culture of sport. Um, Buffalo City is well known uh, from, uh, as being the boxing maker, but, but uh, there's a, there's a constant, consistent affirmation that we are not only a boxing maker, but we are emerging a rugby city, and, and that must be appreciated. You know, the diversity within the interrelated, you know, uh, societies in the city um, is overwhelming. You look at Mapimpi, she is from the rural side of the city. Um, and if you look at the others, you know, uh, township, um, and the later on, the, the, the technical analysts from the urban side. So it, it then
then suggest that um, there's an integration that's uh, progressively, you know, developing in the city. And the integration brings us uh, uh, all together uh, under the, the, the banner of uh, Buffalo City, which is a city hard at work. You talk about a city hard at work, there's been a lot of criticism, I think, towards you know, municipalities and, the, and, and national government around infrastructure, making sure that the facilities are there um, for for level and cricket, you know, and you speak about boxing and swimming, as we've got the Johnny Harrison pool here. Um, what, what efforts is, is, a, is a municipality making to make sure that the infrastructure that you already have, you, you, are, you, are, you are maintaining, but you also building more, especially out in the rural areas, because outside of the municipality boundaries, there's a lot of rural uh, we, we have strategies in place um, in the city. You know, the city has long been functioning. Um, when we speak to um, um, infrastructure-related um, 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 issues in the city, uh, we're steadily now. Um, we were building more facilities across the city. Um, there's the a long outstanding um, facility in Tanzania that um, that's that's underway currently um, the, the Tanzania swimming pool um, we are revamping all those um, uh, facilities particularly in the context of uh, uh, sporting court I know for a fact that uh, we, we have a, a great appreciation of sport um, as a result of that uh, it's evident we've produced uh, one of the best performing uh, sportsmanship across the country um, we're committed as the, as the city um, in, in developing um, the infrastructural uh, projects and, and, and development uh, that is happening. Um, we've done some due diligence um, and on, on the road infrastructure. Um, we've done a, a huge you know, um, um, a commitment and, 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 and project outrolls. You know. um, we've got the Settlers Way now that uh, is going to be opened um, uh, anytime soon. Um, that, uh, I think that's it. Uh, the, the city is committed uh, into building, you know, more um, uh, champions, more heroes for South Africa, and we are committed to that. What I can, what I can affirm here is that we are going to be working very closely um, with with the Department of Education through um, the IGR, so as to guide uh, these kids at an early age. You know, the city has equally. Ha equally has um, social economic challenges that we have and, and, and we're trying to combat that as um, in so far as us and, and our planning is concerned. So, 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 so in a nutshell, um, uh, we're city hard at work and, and we pride ourselves in that. Uh, just lastly, the, the Border Rap Union has been under administration for a while. It's, it's a union that has really, really struggled to, to, you know, to get on its feet. However, this area you know, and, and, and the Eastern Cape has produced many, many springboks, uh, pre-democracy and post-democracy. Uh, the likes of Okaya Malotan, the first black African springbok, started here at, at the Border Rapi Union and so on. Um, I'm, I'm sure with the new executive there, new president, um, you guys, uh, again, as a city that, that hosting or have the Border Rapi Union, you're hoping for better for that union and the likes of all oh, oh, Makazole, or look on your arm, can actually stay here and not actually leave and go to other uh, um, provinces, to other bigger franchises? Look, our, our, our commitment um, in so far as um, rugby is concerned uh, in the city and so far as the, 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 the border, you know, we, we as the city have committed a super and deliberate uh, approach in drawing closer to, 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 to border rugby. Um, we are equally... Um, coming closer to local rugby you know we've had uh, good games in the last season um, uh, police topping up um, swallows um, not doing fairly bad um, we have that appreciation you know um, we know that we can do more um, and hence the, 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 the deliberate approach of uh, coming closer to, 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 to the border rugby. You know, these boys at an early age, you know, they climb ranks through border rugby. Um, if you can uh, observe now, uh, borders better than it was before. It means they are on a, the right track. Um, and we've been getting positive responses so far as um, rugby is concerned. Um, I, I must state, you know, uh, the city is not only focusing on rugby. Um, the city is 
uh, focusing on failure on a number of sports across uh, the city. Um, and hence I'm saying we, we, we have a, a, a program that will then respond to um, uh, the sporting um, fraternity um, in the context of the city. Um, the, the Buffalo City is the strategic center of the Eastern Cape. So, so, so um, in other words, the, it has a ripple effect across uh, um, 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 the province uh, and what we do as a city. So we have a full commitment to that uh, and, and we, we, we will um, um, ensure that everything happens and, and we will show that we will uh, develop a, a, a young rising stars uh, across all boards. Thank you very much. Um, that is Acting Mayor of PCM, your man, Lera Etali. Um, as you heard, Tumelo, this is the epicenter of, of sports development, not just of rapid de development. You've got your Lindsay Weyers taking the analysts with the Springboks. You've got your Makazole Mampimbi who comes from a village to, to just outside um, uh, the uh, PCM. Um, and you, you've got your Jaden Hendrixes and, and your Lukanya Arms who comes from a uh, but, but I think my colleague Ronald um, is at the epicenter of, 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 of East London um, uh, outside City Hall. So I'll throw to Ronald. Um, to give you more of, um, of our guests and obviously of the festivities they are starting to build up in anticipation for Springboks coming out into the streets of East London. Absolutely, Ronald. And from where you stand, I mean, that's precisely what we're focusing on, right? <laughs> yes, indeed, Tumelo. Good morning to you, Vata, as well. And uh, we are in the home of legends, uh, Tumelo, for many reasons. I mean, we talk about uh, the struggle icons that have come here, the likes of Nelson Mandela, Utata, or Walter Sisulu. Uh, the list goes on. Oliver Tamo, Chris Hani. And uh, I am also joined by another legend, a rugby legend, who is well known here in the Eastern Cape, Utatu Tobi Lemgia, to tell us more about the significance of today. Uh, Tata, thank you very much indeed. Uh, just talk to us a bit about yourself for those who might not know Utatu Tobi Lemgia. Oh, Moluen Gendabulis, and I'm, I'm Tobi Lemgia. I'm born at Kualeja. Uh, in 1982, I came back to, to Mdanzane, and I joined Swallows in 1982. Uh, from 1982, I played for Swallows and Daru and uh, a board. And then in 1991, I was selected to play for South Africa. Utobi uh, Lemjake is the one who coached first ladies in 2000 till uh, 2008. And then I was part of do the, the development in board. People know me. Ukuba uh, Irap in the uh, I'm one of the stars here, Kusaru, Nagupota, Nagumtaru. Everything that talking about rugby, I know. Okay, many people, of course, during your era, they were deprived of uh, playing for South Africa. How far have we come as a nation? No, it was difficult for us because we're not allowed to play for White Springbok. We play under Saru, under Steve Schwerte on those days, you know, because of. You know, you know, because of two uh, Springbok Whites and Springbok Black. But I was uh, one of the top players there in Saru side. But I get the advantage of to play against the, the Pinar guys, uh, all of them, in 1993. Yes. When you look at the current makeup of the Springbok squad, uh, much has been said about how far we've come. I mean, 95, for example, we probably only had Chester Williams as the only player of colour in the starting lineup. But how far have we come? Where do you think things have gone right for South African rugby? No, what happened? If uh, the South African Rugby Union can focus and the Department of Sport focus on development, focus of school sport, because the problem is our government are, are busy working with the uh, uh, model Cs. Uh, if we can focus with underprivileged schools, we can produce more mapimbis. That's where the problem is. Now, they must focus in underprivileged schools, uh, uh, in rural areas and... and, and uh, uh, locations. If I look at the Springbok team or the squad that was at the World Cup in France, probably only Magazole Mampimpi 
came from a township a school, uh, from high school. <clears throat> you talk, you talk these words, but still, we we're not seeing much of these changes. Uh, should our educators, people who are teaching our kids, also be more involved in sport? Because we also get this perception that it is also about passion. Those who are in education need to have passion for sport. If the Department of Education can uh, stood up and the Department of Odizrak and the people who knows Rabi, people who knows Rabi to do the development. For example, I'm going to open up next year the academy. That's where we want to do the academy and check all, there's a lot of mapimbis around the country. Let's talk a bit about facilities because I know that this is a very important focus for you here in the border region. I've gone, I've seen a lot of these facilities dilapidated. I mean, Bisho Stadium, for example, completely stripped off in terms of copper cables and mm. the stands are in an appalling state. Mm. Are we doing enough to preserve, to keep our facilities so that kids can enjoy uh, better quality facilities? Municipalities and the government must be very serious even if we are happy about this thing of the Springbok winning the uh, uh, 2023 World Cup, it's nothing if there's no facilities. They must focus now. They must focus starting from today that they must do these facilities. And we are, we are saying true thing that about the Bishop Stadium. Anyone, anyone stadium is one of the, 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 uh, the facilities that you played. All the teams of Ndantan, like Swallows, Tembo, all the teams, Breakers. You see, they must be very serious, Buffalo City municipality, to, to fix those facilities as soon as possible. My colleague uh, Vatan Obeni uh, just had a con was in conversation with the uh, acting uh, mayor here in Buffalo City. And it also touched on the issue of rugby here in the province. Border rugby has been going through its own uh, issues for years now. Uh, we are not managing to keep talent, your mampimpis, your arms. What would you change about border rugby? Uh, as border rugby, if you can work with me in the academy and the SARU uh, to support my uh, academy, it's not my academy, it's because all the province, they got academy. This is the gold mines of the players, the black players. But there's no academy, there's nothing here. Let's come back in the, in the in, you know, plan how to develop the players. You know, this development is going to be in Bisho, you're going to assist us. Sports Minister Zizikoto will also be in attendance. What will your message be to him? A lot of people say he's hit the ground running since he's been Sports Minister was at the World Cup, and he's here today. What would you like to say to him? Comrade uh, uh, he must assure of talking with education, Department of Education, and Department of Dizrak, and the community of Rabi, not other, other people. They must be focused and invite us, all the legends who take part uh, on, on Rabi. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, Toby Lemkia. Beg your pardon, Toby Lemkia. Thank you very much indeed, sir. And a very important message out here to Melo is that uh, grassroots development in rugby is so important, so crucial, so that South Africa can be able to unearth the future Sia Colises of this world. We will continue uh, being in conversation with several other people throughout the course of the day. Of course, the Springboks themselves, they'll have their own press conference at around 8 o'clock.